machine set up. Uh, I'm going to be running some 330 seconds with this one, not eighth inch. I, I don't really like to run eighth inch on this thing too much. I mean, it just uh, it, it maxes out at 125 amps DC. Uh, you're kind of pushing it. So I run, but I do run a lot of uh, 330 seconds with it, which for out of position welding, which is probably what? I'd say 90% of your welding, 330 seconds on up to, oh, 3 16 even a quarter inch uh, plate, uh, it's a good rod. So for uphill, um, oh, horizontal, stuff like that, 330 seconds is good, and you can run them with this machine. I run around 85 amps. Uh, it's a tapped machine, so, you know, you're stuck. You, 75 is too cold. I think 90 is a little bit too hot, depending on, depends on the day, depends on the rod. But I set it where I like it. You set it where you like it. I mean, there again, just do it where you're comfortable. I'm set at a uh, number 11 shade on this thing. Uh, I see see it fairly good. Um, I hope it shows up good on the videos. One of my main, there again, like I said, my main problem is I'm welding without glasses. So for me, it's all, it's kind of a blur. I, I don't really like it, uh, but what are you gonna do? Just wanted to get this up. Okay, here we go. I don't go very wide. There again, it's twice the width of the rod. Just drag that dark line, which is your puddle, right along with you. You're in no rush. You want a good weld. See what we got. compares very well with the uh, Ranger um, you probably noticed it's got a little bit harsher arc which you know it, it's just uh, it's just I suppose the rectifiers aren't as clean or I, I don't know how they build these things it doesn't really matter to me I just weld with them but that's an awful nice weld uh, people run these little machines down they boy you don't want that duty cycle this and that and yada 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 well if you really sit and think about it just how much are you welding? Um, 3.30 seconds, you're probably going to get about a, I'd say about a, between a 50 and 60% duty cycle, somewhere up in there. That's five minutes out of 10 minutes. If you're doing, if you're building something, you're not going to be welding five minutes straight. I mean, that's five minutes arc time. You're going to be doing fit up, uh, you're going to be grinding out welds that you don't like. <laughs> uh, believe me, five minutes out of ten is plenty. And you just don't need to be plunking down that hard-earned cash for these fancy machines.
Sometimes I forget to tilt my head with this thing. You gotta kinda tilt your head down so you guys can see what's going on. I hope I got it. And I'll find out when I go up in the house and see what we got. But the whole idea behind all of this that I'm doing right now is so that you guys use another full rod makes it easier on me I don't my hands don't get so hot uh, just so you guys can watch that puddle I mean I, I'm trying to really emphasize just where the puddle is and where you ought to be looking you're looking off to the left of your arc just stay away from that arc that's not where you want to be How steady that is, you're just dragging it back. I mean, if you're real, real, I mean, if you're anal, maybe, you can tell the difference. Uh, I don't think I'm as anal as most people. I'm kind of the anti-anal guy, as well as the anti-plasma guy, anybody that knows me. But there you see two different machines. You got a $3,000 machine on the left, and you got a $600 machine on the right. It's just all how you use that machine. Everybody will tell you, you know, you got to have this or that. No, it, it's all about your hand, what you're doing with your hand and your arm. Okay, well, I hope that helped. Uh, I'll be doing a few more one of these days. I'm not big on videos. Uh, I, it's like pulling teeth. Okay, well, i got other stuff to do. You all take care. Thanks for looking.